Hey YouTube, on this video I'm going to be showing you a ThinkPad that I covered in the previous couple of videos. In the previous videos I, uh, I showed you how I replaced a broken speaker assembly on these units. And uh, um, uh, originally I had bought this from a local recycler for, I don't know, probably like 30 bucks. And, uh, and I've got it fully working now, so I wanted to show you what I did. So this is a, uh, a ThinkPad SL510. And it's it's a pretty nice looking machine. It's 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 a Lenovo based product, uh, so it's not it's it's not the the same build quality as the original ThinkPads, but it's pretty close to what you usually you usually get like on the T40. Um, but you know it comes with uh, all the things that you'd expect to have in a in a machine of this of this vintage. You have uh, and and some more actually. You have VGA. You have HDMI an Ethernet port, an eSATA port. Uh, I think this is a, a card reader here, or sorry, uh, um, PCI Express um, card. And um, yeah, I think this is a pretty good set of I.O. So um, I'm kind of impressed that you have VGA and you have HDMI and eSATA. On the other side, we have two USB ports and you have a, an SD card reader and a DVD player uh, CD burner. I think it also burns DVDs. In the back there's just a, a another USB port, uh, the a lock port or one of those uh, key lock mechanisms and the battery. Also the exhaust port uh, is in the back. For the fan, the bottom looks you know pretty standard. There there are nice covers for everything that you need to change, including the CPU fan. You don't even have to tear apart the entire thing. Um, you can see that in the previous video that I made, um, which I'll link in the description, uh, what I did, and uh, I basically took everything apart. The speakers <clears throat> on this unit is are built into the the uh, L LCD uh, assembly right down here there's two speakers and the wire runs all the way over here which is why it broke off right there uh, in the front all we have is a couple of um, LED indicators one for the battery with, that is being charged and the other one is uh, this that the, the laptop is in sleep mode on the top here we have the Think Vantage button, some activity lights, and the power button. On the other side, we have uh, some multimedia buttons for muting, putting up and lowering the volume, and disabling the microphone. Hmm, interesting. Must be a privacy feature. I like that they still kept the little uh, uh, key. key um, track point, I think that's what they call it, the track point. And you have the track point with two, three mice button right here. And then you also have the track pad with two more buttons right here. This is a nice thing pad um, feature, which I love using this sometimes. All right, so what have I installed in this computer? So let me show you. All right, so I'm going to power it up. And immediately you can see the Windows 10 logo pop up. And then we can choose. I have Windows 10 or Windows XP. So this is a, a laptop that I found that you could actually have all the drivers properly working in Windows 10 or in Windows XP. So I, I went ahead and made it a, a, a dual boot system. It's got a 160 gig SSD in it, uh, which, I, which I partitioned and uh, installed both XP and Windows 10. All right, so Windows 10, let's see how fast that boots up. And we're in.
and that was it. That was in real time, by the way. Uh, it's a pretty fast computer for the the age. And uh, let me show you a little bit of uh, what hardware is in here. Let me get the. All right, so we got a Core Two Duo T sixty five seventy. It's a dual core CPU running up to two point one gigahertz. It's a. It's got it's the forty five nanometer CPU. Um, it's got an Intel GMA forty five hundred video card with a one point three gigs so, uh, uh, kind of shared with the main CPU. And I installed three gigs of RAM. I didn't go any higher because I also have the 32-bit version of Windows XP installed. So three gigs of RAM is more than enough. Um, and what makes Windows 10 really snappy is that I have a, a 160 gig Intel um, SSD, and it's it's a, an, an enterprise version of it. So it's it's a pretty fast SSD. And uh, even with three gigs of RAM, the computer is very fast. As you as you saw, it it starts up fairly fast for something that with just a Core Two Duo. And if I were to load up a browser, for example, it just pops right up. Yeah, you can go to Google.com. Oh, I don't. I'm not on the internet on this one. And uh, yeah, everything seems to work fine. Now let me show you how I go into. Um, Windows XP. All right. So to get into Windows XP, I just uh, shut down. And then when it's fully turned off, I press the button. And uh, As soon as I get the uh, the operating system selector right here, I just go to Windows XP. And what when I press enter here, what it's going to do, it's going to configure the startup um, boot manager to start Windows XP the next time the computer reboots. And so you can see we're, go we're back in the BIOS, but now when the computer starts up, it's going to choose to start up from this partition. Windows XP. And we're in. And here, as you can see, I have all the drivers installed. Even the the the, the CMCIA the memory devices, the network adapters, everything is installed. It's got the video card drivers, so everything works. And I can even load up uh, you know some software here. I can load um, Unreal. That obviously works really fast. Don't know what happened there. New game, medium. Something isn't right there. <laughs> All right. You never know what's gonna happen with those old games. Let's try Quake Two. Game. Easy. All right. This looks much better. very fast and uh, even DOS games like Doom 2 work really well and they load up <laughs> so fast <laughs> this is all real time by the way all right and uh, yeah that's I also have Warcraft 3 Oh, that, that is so fast. 
Anyway, that's it. I have. I'm not going to show you the gameplay because I've done this in the previous videos. But uh, as you can see, uh, what I've done is like it's. I just made it a dual boot machine, and uh, I hope you you know uh, you find this useful because if you want something that runs Windows 10 and Windows XP with all the drivers resolved and everything and easily accessible, the SL510 is a great choice for a 15-inch retro gaming or retro PC. Uh, with a lot of different IO port ports that are very useful. Like you have HDMI and you have VGA and you have a memory card reader and a DVD uh, burner. So it's a lot of things you can do with this uh, machine. It's a great machine for, for a lot of people um, and it covers a lot of bases. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and now I'm going to leave you with some music.